Hey everybody, it's Debbie O'Neill at Scrap Me Quick Designs and the Let's Learn Cricut Explore Facebook group. And today I want to show you something really simple, which is how to upload an SVG file to Cricut Design Space and be able to use it. So first of all, you want to um, have found an SVG file that you want to use from various vendors. There's a lot of different sites. We have a whole list in our Let's Learn Cricut Explore Facebook group of various SVG resources um, in our file section. So if you're a member or you're not a member, go ahead and join and come over. Come over, And uh, you can find that list in our file section. And it gives you some really great um, places where you can file, find files for free. It has a great resource for files that are um, for sale at various vendors that are files that our members have suggested that um, are good places to get SVG files for. So if you're looking for SVG files, we have a resource in our group for you. Um, and right now I'm going to show you once you have found your SVG file and you have it saved on your computer, how do you get it into Design Space? That's what we're, I'm going to show you right now. So I am in Cricut Design Space. I can tell that because I have my name is all saved up here. But the first thing you have to do is you have got to go <laughs> and find your file. Okay? So when your file comes in, all right, when you download a file, and I'm using Miss Kate Cuttable's file as an example, I have all my uh, SVG files, when they come in, they go into my download folder, and then they go into a subfolder that I call SVG files all. Isn't that exciting? And then I have them sorted by vendor, okay? So, um, I am, Miss Kate Cuttable's does a free file every day and it's a different file every day and they're super adorable and a lot of people are downloading those so I decided that would be a good one to show you okay um, when you download the file they actually come in what they call a zipped file okay some of you have been asking uh, what's a zip file a zip file just means that that particular vendor put their files for that project in one folder okay so that uh, it, it makes the files it compresses the files and makes them smaller so that they're easier for you to download to your computer okay but for you to add them to design space you need to unzip that folder okay and that's where a lot of people get confused because they're like well I downloaded it and I'm trying to put it in design space well you're trying to add a whole folder and not just the SVG file so that's problem number one that I hear about so let's go through the process now depending upon whatever computer system operating system you're using yours may look slightly different than mine alright I'm using Windows 7 and for me to extract a file from a zip folder there's a certain process I have to go through you need to look for your type of operating system how do you how do you unzip folders okay um, so I'm going to go into this firework set and I'm in I'm here's my zipped folder and you can tell it zipped because it actually has a zipper on the front of the folder alright and I'm gonna right click and when I right click in Windows 7 it gives me this pop-up box and it says extract all and that means it's going to extract everything out of that folder see it's coming up it says extract compressed folders Yep, that's what I want it to do, and I'm going to tell it to extract. Okay, and now what it's done, it is, has now extracted that folder, and it has basically what that means is opened it. Okay, so now it is no longer zipped. See, it doesn't have a zipper on the folder, and now I can open this folder. All right, now when I open this folder, you will notice that this particular file has multiple types of files in it. It has JPEG files, it has PNG files, it has SVG files, and it has an instruction PDF. So not every SVG file that you upload will have all of these. It just depends upon the vendor that you ordered you got the, the file from, okay? But 
what I see people doing is that you're not paying attention to the fact that you need to upload an SVG file if you want to be able to cut all the various layers. All right. So you want to make sure you're looking at the right folder. But let's look at these so I can show you the difference. Okay. So we're going to look at JPEG. JPEGs are basically just photos of that of that image. Okay. So those are JPEGs. We don't want a JPEG because we're not just going to do a print and cut with this. We are going to, um, we want to be able to cut all the various layers. Same thing with the PNG files. The PNG files are actually better files if you want to do a print and cut. That's kind of what they're made for. Um, so if you wanted to do print and cut, you would be able to use a PNG file and use the basic upload and still use this and be able to uh, just do print and cut with this. Alright, but we're looking for SVG files. So here is the SVG file folder and there is one SVG in here. So that's the one I'm going to use, but I want to go back and I want to look at what this instructions PDF says. Sometimes you'll have, um, depending upon if you purchased it from a vendor, you might have a folder that says, a P it says PDF on it and it may have a terms of use on there or it may just have instructions for that particular uh, file. So we're going to see what the Miss Kate one looks like for this. And it'll take a second to open it up and look. Oh my gosh, it's wonderful. They have um, put together, they let you know what pieces get layered. So they show you this is what's going to cut out and this is what gets layered on top of each other so you know how to assemble your project. Okay. And I think that's really great of them to do that. All right, so we're going to get out of this. We're going to go back into our SVG folder because we're looking for SVG files to upload, right? So I'm going to know that now my file has been extracted and there is my SVG file. All right. So now I know all my files are where they need to be and I know what I'm looking for. So I wanted to show you that first. Now how do we get this into Design Space? Alright, so we're going to go, we're in Design Space. We know that we're logged in because there's our name. And you want to go into Create New Project. Okay, when you go into Create New Project, you have a choices down here on the side. Insert Images, Upload Images, Insert Shapes add text and set canvas. We're looking for upload images. Alright, so here is upload images and you see that there are two different upload types. There is a basic upload and that is when you want to do the JPEGs or the PNG files or GIF files or BMP files. And this will make that file cuttable but it will only cut a single layer. So all it's going to do is basically cut the outline of a particular project. We don't want that. We want to have a multi-layered awesome SVG file. So what we're going to use is the vector upload. So you use vector upload anytime you're going to upload an SVG file. So we're going to go to upload vector. Then we're going to go over to browse. And I'm going to go into Go find my folder again where I have my SVG file. And see I'm navigating over to where they are. And I wanted to upload, I think it's under Firework. Yep. There's my Firework set that I already unzipped the folder. See it's unzipped. And so now I'm going to double click on that. I'm going to open it up. There's what we looked at earlier where we have JPEGs, PNGs, and SVG files. We know that we want the SVG file. So now I'm going to click on the SVG file and it's going to import that file into Design Space. We see the image here. It says it's Fireworks. So I might want to add a tag here that says Fireworks um, just in case I'm looking for it. And um, and then over here in the right hand corner you want to click save. Okay. Now you'll now you'll see your uploaded image library and as you can see I've got a lot of different files out here that I've uploaded and 
this will be your uploaded images whether it's a basic upload or a vector upload okay so we know that we just uploaded this is the the SVG file I can click on this and it says fireworks set it at Cricut Design Space assigned it an image number and I can also delete that file here if for some reason I decide I don't want it or I put a duplicate in there or whatever this is how you would delete it if you accidentally added added it twice or something you could just click delete it'll come up and ask you do you really want to delete this and you say yes um, but I don't want to delete it I want to add this hold on guys alright I want to add this to my image so I had to go back and I had to click the little eye so that then it went back so it would allow me to select it so that's what I had to do to get it to do that so I want to go over here now that I've selected it I want to go to insert images and now it has brought up those images into design space you'll see that it's all the different layers here so I could change the colors if I wanted to do any of that I would be able to size this. You would ungroup it if you wanted to make some of the fireworks bigger or not. Let's say I want to ungroup it and um, maybe I want to make just this row of fireworks bigger so I could do this and then just group that one set. And now these are the images for that one firework and I could make them bigger. Okay. Um, Let's say I wanted these to be smaller. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to group those. This is the same image set. Now, I don't know why it didn't grab that middle one. Well, that's interesting. Let me go back and do undo. <laughs> when in doubt, undo, guys. When in doubt, undo. Um, okay, so let me do this. Maybe I just didn't grab all of it. No, oh, that's what I did. So, group it. And now I have this one set, and I maybe I want to make these smaller, so they would go on what a banner or whatever page I'm doing. But this is how you can get to your different images. You always want to size your SVG files all at the same time if you want the images to all be the same. So this one basically has one, two, three, four. It has four sets of images. So I want to size these all together because these are the layers for that SVG. Okay. Hopefully this makes sense to you guys. Um, it's really easy to do this once you kind of see the process of doing it, but I get a lot of questions about this. So I wanted to make sure you understood how do you um, get an SVG file, how do you open it up, and how do you add it into the design space. And so. I'm going to group this one because I'm going to size this. So, you know, so you can play with this and do it however you want. Um, and then once I get it the way I want it, then you want to save your you want to save your SVG file, or at least I do. If I want to if I want to be able to find it again in my projects, and maybe I get this all sized because I'm putting it on a banner, and I want to make sure that it's the project that I want. I can save it and I'm going to it's fireworks by Miss Kate cuttable so then I always know where my file came from okay if I didn't create it and it's not in design space then I usually put where it came from okay um, so this one fireworks by Miss Kate cuttable and then I can hit save And that's all there is to finding an SVG file, getting it in Design Space, and being able to use it on a project. Hope you enjoyed that, and I will talk to you guys later. Be sure and give me a thumbs up for the video if you like this. Um, subscribe to my YouTube channel if you're not already a subscriber. And you can find me over at the Let's Learn Cricut Explore Facebook group where we're sharing um, and having a great time using our Cricut Explore machine. And, of course, you can find me at Scrap Me Quick Designs, my website. Talk to you later. Bye.